that I just got his head. So I, if you know me, anybody who knows me knows that I love a podcast. I listen to minimum 30 hours worth of podcasts. I listen to them all day on my Amazon job, and I listen to them on my drive home, and I listen to them any fucking chance I get. I love a good podcast, and I've been listening to podcasts, like, for, I want to say, like, three years. I remember before, I didn't even, like, know that podcasts were a thing, um, and I, it's just, it's been popping, like, I feel like ever since, like, that first podcast I saw, everybody's making one, that's why I kind of have the urge to make a podcast myself, um, because I'm always listening to them, you know, but there's just, like, so many avenues you can go down that it might be a little bit too many options, that's why I'm kind of, like, tripping, like, I want to make a podcast, but that niche has to be together, and I don't have a niche yet, um, so I thought I would share some of my, you know, top favorite podcasts, um, that I listen to, these aren't in any particular order, but these are the ones I, like, literally, like, every single week I listen to at least one, um, of them, because some of them only come out once a week, but, okay, let me go through them, so, this first one, you're probably gonna be shocked, okay, because I always say, you know, I'm asexual, or I'm on the age spectrum, now, this podcast is so juicy, when I tell you it's juicy, it's juicy, this shit is all about sex, um, and I don't even know how I came across it, honestly, like, I'm over here thinking back, like, how did I find it? Maybe I listened to a podcast and the person that made this podcast was being interviewed or something. I don't even fucking know, but I've been listening to them. Probably, I've probably been listening to, like, nine hours a week, like, truly. Like, that's how much. Maybe ten, you know? But it's called, um, what the fuck is it called? It's called Strictly Anonymous. So, literally the whole entire show, every episode is this woman interviewing somebody and they're telling their whole story on how, like, maybe, like, there's their whole story around, like, their, like, depends on what it is, but basically their whole story on their, like, fetish or whatever, or, like, whatever they're into sexually, and, like, some people, like, to give you an example, like, some people, most people, or not most people, most of the calls kind of are, like, a dude or a woman that's, like, calling in and saying, um, I was in a, you know, vanilla relationship with my wife or my husband, and then, you know, he was wondering if maybe, you know, he could watch me have sex with somebody else or whatever, so, like, they talk about different things like that, like, some people say, like, they're a cuck, some people say that they're a dominatrix, um, they talk about all sorts of things, so, basically, the whole entire show is just about sexual shit, but people telling stories, and they even go into details on, like, sexual stuff, and I don't know why I like it, like, just imagine me just, like, delivering my packages, and I'm listening to these, like, really juicy sex stories, I'm not, like, getting horny or anything like that, it's just really, like, entertaining to me, I love hearing about it, I honestly just, like, envy them, and, like, I wish I was, like, into it like that, so I think probably that's why I listen to it, I'm like, damn, that sounds very interesting, but I couldn't do that, you know, myself or anything, um, okay, let me move on, another one I love is Monsters, Monsters is a true crime podcast, let me see, I think my phone needs to be charged, I don't know, it's a, Monsters is a true crime podcast, and it's literally just, like, this dude telling, like, true crime stories, um, I have, and they're, like, you know, true crime, that's why I love true crime, because it actually, it's true, you know what I mean, um, and it's crime, it is also crime, uh, and each season or whatever is, like, about different things, like, one season will be every story is about a kid killing their parents, or their parents killing the kids, or, like, maybe, like, a, you know, only rapist, or whatever, like, it's just, like, it really, it, it's a little bit hard to listen to if you're not into that kind of stuff, but I don't know why, I just love hearing a story, um, and, uh, yeah, some of them are even, like, mysteries, too, like, they have a whole story, but they still are looking for the dude or, or the woman, so, those ones are always hard. I also listen to Chris Hansen, um, How to Catch a Predator, that one, I don't listen to that often, I used to listen to it quite a bit, but it's just hard to listen to, um, because it's really just, like, you know, the show, I don't know if you saw the show, but it's just, like, pedophiles online, and, like, they bust them, so, yeah, that one I haven't listened to in a while, though, um, this next one I'm a little bit embarrassed to say because it's kind of girly, um, I don't know, that sounds stupid, but, like, it just, like, seems like only, like, women listen to it, because she's always saying that, only women listen to it, and I'm like, okay, I'm a dude, but I like it, um, but it's called, uh, Why Won't You Date Me, and it's with Nicole Byer, 
She's an actor. You know what's crazy? I've never watched any of her movies, any of her shows, but I love her podcast. I listen to every one for the past three, four years. I've listened to every single one of them. Ooh, I'm sorry, boy. Um, and I love it so much. It's really just like her interviewing people and they're just talking about anything around love. Like she haven't ever been in a relationship and um, she's really entertaining. She's really funny. And uh, you know what's funny? Side note, I went on a date with someone from Tinder and she met Nicole Byer before. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. Because she was also a really big fan and she listened to the podcast. Um, another one is Ice Coffee Hour. So Ice Coffee Hour is my number one favorite podcast. This is with um, Stephen Graham. Uh, it's all about financial, uh, personal finance. Um, did I say Stephen Graham? Graham Stephan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, he has like a main channel that he talks about personal finance and stuff like that. But this is like literally interviewing people, like mostly like, po um, not podcasters, YouTubers and like many famous people kind of, and some really famous people, but, um, yeah, you know, like, I don't know, Dave Ramsey, like, he's a big, uh, financial guy, so he interviewed him, uh, other, uh, what, what is that one dude that's, like, the PewDiePie, like, all those type of YouTubers, so he, they interview them, and they kind of start from the beginning, like, how they got started, and I love those stories so much, I love a, um, like a poor to rich storyline, like it's amazing, and they're like true stories, so you know. And I get a lot of uh, helpful tips. Like people say, like, yeah, I've been making YouTube videos for like forty years, and I just now started making money, and now I'm making a billion dollars a month, and it's really inspiring, you know. Fucking Tiny's like stuck in this damn plant. Come on, Tiny. Um, yeah, so I love iced coffee. I listen to every single one of them. I've listened to all of them, and there's like hundreds. Um, come on, Tiny's literally wrapped around this damn plant, whatever, um, another one is, oh, this is actually happening, this one is, like, a very sad one, it's literally a podcast for this guy, interviews people, um, but there's no, the thing I love about this podcast is he's interviewing them, but there's none of his voice that do that interviewing, so it's just them telling their story, um, but it's, like, chopped up, and it sounds like a very lovely, like, cohesive story, line and um it's about people telling their like really traumatizing traumatic stories like maybe somebody who lived a totally normal life and then they randomly went psychotic or somebody who act you know got into an accident their arm got cut off or you know maybe their mom you know locked up in the basement their whole entire childhood and you know it's that kind of stuff and it's just so interesting and it makes me really appreciate my life when i listen to it because i'm like damn this person went through some crazy shit um, so yeah, I love that one, I've, I, that's also a top, top three, I love that one so much, but they only make one a week, and I've listened to all of them already, um, let's see here, another one is, okay, Hidden Brain, this one's kind of more, like, politically, it's not really that political, but I guess it's more, like, psychological, but they do talk, like, about politics and whatnot, I don't listen to this one as much anymore, I used to listen to every one of them, but, you know, sometimes I lose interest in a podcast and I move on. But this one is, like, um, like, the titles, for instance, would be, like, you know, why is it so hard to accomplish goals, you know, and it talks about the mind, and he has, like, a doctor on, and they tell, you know, it's from your childhood, you know how it goes. So, I really, really love this one. I love psychology. I've taken quite a few psychology college courses, and I love psychology so much. Um, uh, oh, yeah, the Blair White po Project. I love Blair White, I don't love Blair White, but I do like her content, she does make a lot of controversial videos about trans related stuff, she's a trans woman that's like on the right side or whatever it's fucking called, a Republican, um, so she's really interesting, I love her take on things, even if she's talking about things I don't necessarily agree with, I think like her commentary is just hilarious and she's just like a funny person, honestly, I would really love to meet her, um, i really love to meet her someday, you know, maybe do like a I don't know, her interview me, I interview her, but I love her podcast, just her solo, like, literally just talking about what's going on in the world, you know, um, another one, okay, this looks like it's the last one, uh, Bigger Money Pockets, so Bigger Money Pockets is literally amazing, because as you know, if you don't know, I have a goal of buying a home and buying more and more and more, and real estate is my way out of the rat race, it's my way of retiring early, um, and Bigger Money Pocket is amazing because it talks, same thing, kind of like Ice Coffee Hour, it's like someone talking about how they were poor, and then they got out for their first home, and then now they have like 100 homes, and they're a millionaire, so I really, really love that, it really teaches me a lot about it, there's also these episodes where people send in their questions, 
And one day I want to send in my question and say, hey, you know, something about buying a home, you know? Um, and yeah, I just really love that podcast so much. So yeah, those are all my favorite podcasts. I, um, I'm not going to lie, like, I, I'm over here thinking about Ice Coffee Hour. And, and I, when I tell you it's my favorite podcast ever, it's my favorite. And I can't say, like, being a YouTuber, I just wanted to throw this in here. Being a YouTuber, my biggest goal, like, one of my biggest goals is um, to be on the Ice Coffee Hour and tell my story. Uh, you know, how I went from being extremely poor and in debt to, you know, being successful. You know, I don't have to be making millions, but, you know, being successful in general. Um, and, yeah, it's really a big goal of mine. And I can't say, like, I look up to Graham, like, so much. And uh, I really encourage you to watch some of his shit because he's just such a cool guy. Um, I love him because he's really rich, but he's super fr frugal, just like me, you know. And he taught me so much, so... I don't know. I really love these podcasts. I love to learn and stay entertained. And yeah, let me know if you listen to podcasts as well.